If Hooke's law states that the force needed to stretch or compress a material is directly proportional to the extension or compression of the material from its natural length, provided the limit of proportionality hasn't been exceeded. Okay, so what does this mean? Here's a spring in its natural length. If I hang some mass on it, it's going to apply a force and it's going to cause it to extend. And if I hang double the mass and we're applying double the force, then we ex expect the extension to double. This is what directly proportional means. If I hang something that's triple, it's going to triple and so on. And it works in the opposite direction or the, with compression. So if I compress it by a certain force, it'll, it will compress by a certain amount. And if I double that compressive force, then it will double the amount it's compressed by. This law can be written as an equation. F stands for force measured in newtons. K is the spring constant or the stiffness constant measured in newtons per meter. And delta L means change in length or compression or extension. Okay, so that's basically the final length minus the original length of the object. And as an example, a spring constant of 2,000 newtons per meter would mean that you need 2,000 newtons of force to stretch a spring by one meter. So that means that the higher the spring constant, the stiffer the spring, wire, or rod, and you'd need more force to stretch it by the same amount. For an object that follows Hooke's law, if we plot force against extension, we should get a straight line that goes through the origin. However, this is only true up to the limit of proportionality. So this is the point on the line where it starts to curve. Okay, so beyond this point, we can no longer use Hooke's law. You can't use F equals K delta L. The original length of a spring is 400 millimeters before a mass of 250 grams is hung from the spring. The spring extends to 460 millimeters. I the spring constant with the units. Because firstly, we can calculate the extension by doing change in length here. Times that by 10 to the minus 3 to turn it into meters. But then to get the force, we need to calculate the weight of the mass that's hanging on it. The mass is currently in grams, so we're going to turn it kilograms by dividing by 1,000. So the mass is going to be 0 0.25, and then times that by 9.81, and then you've got your weight of the force there. We can put that into a flow. Let's just rearrange it first. So force is going to be the weight we just calculated, and then extension. And so we get a spring constant of 40.9. To get the units, we can just use the equation here. So the force is in newtons. And the extension, the change in length is in meters, so the unit's going to be newtons per meter. In this question, we've got a 1.5 kilogram mass which is hung on a wire. The wire extends by 5 millimeters. An additional 1 kilogram is added to the same wire. Calculate the total extension of the wire. Stay in the assumptions made in your calculation. So, first, I'm going to start off by drawing a picture here. So, what's going on? And I'm adding an additional 1 kilogram, so the actual total mass is 2.5 kilograms. I can actually just use ratios because I know that the force and extension are direct proportional. So I can see the force here, which is the same as the mass, because the mass is going to create the weight, is increased by a factor of 2.5 over 1.5, which is around 1.67. So we ex expect the extension to increase by the same factor. So I'm going to multiply the 5 millimeters by 1.67, and that gives me an extension of 8.3 millimeters. Another way to do this question is just calculate the spring constant. So K is going to be equal to force over the extension. Uh, and the force is going to be the weight that's hanging on it initially. So I'm going to use 1.5 times 9.81 and divide it by the extension in meters. So that gives me a spring constant. And when I hang the new mass on it, the additional 1 kilogram, the spring constant isn't going to change. So we're going to use the same spring constant, but we're going to put a new force on it. The new force is going to be 2.5 times 9.81. Okay, so that's a new force, and then extend, uh, the spring constant is the same. We can work out the extension. So it's extended to 0 0.083 meters. Okay, so we made the assumption here that spring constant didn't change, or we made uh, by using Hooke's law, we're assuming the wire hasn't been stretched beyond the limit of proportionality.